hi guys welcome back to my channel lush foliage so i was just about to repot some of my water lilies and i thought i will make a video on it now this is some soil that i have uh, picked up from the roadside now because it contains a lot of tiny rocks i prefer to filter this uh, soil this is basically regular soil uh, there is no compost no coco peat nothing it's just a soil that has been picked up from the roadside probably there was some digging going on so there was a lot of red soil and this tends to work out really well but because it contains a lot of these you can see these small little tiny pebbles and stones and rocks in that so i prefer to uh, filter it out completely i also take out uh, some larger rocks from this and i go ahead and filter it and you can see the amount of dust that is falling from this uh, soil now in this i only tend to use uh, the filtered uh, soil this soil that you're seeing in the net is something that i use for my uh, regular plants uh, because it's very gritty it's loose uh, i also add some sand in it and i use it for my uh, regular plants now when i'm using it for my water lilies i only tend to use this fine dust as you can see this is going to work out fantastic for our uh, water lilies it is very very fine it's going to work out as a best media for our water lilies so i will quickly go ahead and filter in some more of the soil because i don't think that this is going to be enough for uh, I think I have around 5 to 6 water lilies that I need to uh, repot so I don't think it's going to be enough for all of them uh, because when we tend to put the fine soil into the pots it tends to get reduced in size so we will have to keep filtering it. So the rest of the soil I will be using it for my regular plants and this is the only soil that I will be using for my water lilies. You can see it's very smooth. Now over here I am taking a 7 inch pot. You can either go with a 7 inch or an 8 inch pot. I prefer to go with a 7 inch pot. Now because it has these drain holes I uh, put a plastic lid. Again this is a lid that I have collected and I kept aside. Uh, and I will go ahead and fill in the fine dust that we have just filtered. Uh, over the period of time, uh, the soil is very heavy and it tends to lock that plastic piece that I have put beneath. Uh, initially, a little bit of soil will spill out from that drain hole, but uh, it will kind of get locked in once it is placed in water. So I'm going to top it up with some more soil, but I will not fill it up till the brim. I'm just going to add a little bit more soil and give it a shake so that all the soil can settle down. Now, as I said, initially a little bit of soil will come out through because there were drain holes and we had covered it up. But after this, the soil will not come out because it will create a vacuum inside. So even if I'm going to lift up the pot, the soil is not going to fall. Now, as I said, I'm going to leave a little bit of space from the edge. I'm not going to completely fill it up to the brim because when we are going to put water, I do not want the soil to spill in the water and make the water muddy. Now, over here, I have the rhizome of the water lily. You can see there is already one leaf. So this portion is going to be above and this is the root area. So the leaf portion is going to be above the soil and the roots are going to be beneath. So we will gently push it into the soil and we will cover the entire rhizome with the soil, just leaving the leaf above uh, the soil. This is how it has to be planted. Please do not plant it upside down, otherwise it will get rotted. You will not be able to get any water lily. You have to ensure that the leaf portion is above the soil and the rest of the rhizome is beneath the soil. Now the next step, what I prefer to do, again it's completely your choice, but what I prefer to do is, I prefer to keep the pots in the larger container and then fill in the water because ideally when you put water and then you add the pot, the water can get very muddy. So what I prefer to do is put the pots first and then slowly start filling it up with water. In this way, the water does not get very muddy. So let me fill the water and give you a clip. So this is how it tends to look like. I was able to manage to only put uh, three pots in this uh, large rectangular pot. Ideally, I can accommodate four, but uh, this pot was a little bit larger and hence I was able to put only three of the pots. Nevertheless, it's absolutely fine. 
and now you can see there is a little bit of film on the upper layer of soil which is absolutely fine over the period of time it will go off right now because we have done a slow filling of the water you can see how clear crystal clear the water is you can almost see uh, the base of this rectangular pot so this is why I prefer to keep the pots first and then add in water very slowly. Now there is another very important thing that we have to be careful of is adding of fertilizers. Never ever add fertilizers if there are no leaves present. Here as you can see there are some leaves present but I'll still wait. Uh, because ideally it's said that you should have at least 5 to 6 leaves on a water lily before you add any kind of fertilizers so only add fertilizers when you have at least five to six leaves on your water lily and add fertilizers only during their growing period now another important question which a lot of people tend to ask me how can we avoid mosquitoes breeding in our water lily pond now the best way you can stop this is by adding fish you can either go with betta fish guppies mollies platies all of these will work out really well. You can even add guramis as well in your water lily pod uh, because our containers are very small. So we'll have to go with smaller fish like betta or like uh, guppies. These are going to work out really well. There are two benefits of having fish in your water lily or your lotus pod. Uh, one is that they will not let the mosquitoes breed. Secondly, their waste is going to work like fertilizers for your plants. So you have two benefits. The best thing is go with any kind of fish, whether betta, guppies or mollies. They are going to work out really well. Now, of course, these will take time to produce leaves. I will definitely make an update video. But in this video, I'll give you a fair idea of how it's going to look like. Uh, once you have planted the rhizomes or tubers in couple of days, you will start seeing new leaves growing. But again, this depends uh, whether you are still in the season or if the season is over. Uh, for example, most of my water lilies, uh, their growing period or their growing season is from February until September. So right now, most of my water lilies are uh, blooming. So if you are able to get your plant mature within this time frame you will be able to see the flowers in this season or probably you will be able to see the flowers in the next season so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting